What's up? It is Andrew Vos bringing you all things uh, living in Pensacola, surrounding areas, Pensacola Beach. Just ate at um, George Bistro, uh, one of the best restaurants in town. Got like the best cocktails. Uh, they got this bomb uh, appetizer, which is bone marrow, and they got this Wagyu steak. But just wanted to come and talk to you guys today. And this channel is all about bringing you all things in the area so like share comment if this can provide some value to you or anybody you know please please share it i try to answer all my comments likes texts emails all that stuff but uh let's get started so the big topic right now is the market right we are in an unknown territory. We're basically in purgatory, in my opinion. Purgatory, and when I say that, is because we're in this weird time where, you know, sometimes we feel like we're in a seller's market. Sometimes we feel like we're in a buyer's market. And a lot of people are like, oh, we're not in a buyer's market because interest rates are so high. Well, really? Because I have questions about that because when, when interest rates were really, really low, everybody was buying everybody could afford everything and it caused appreciation to go through the roof it caused with with appreciation you had sellers that were losing their dang minds over um they're like i need to get money 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 and it's caused a lot of people to become greedy or it did and i don't think these are greedy people i don't think it's intentional i am not downing anybody for going for money to get equity you know selling for top dollar was the thing you know and it was um really really easy for realtors to sell it for top dollar too because you threw a sign in the yard threw it on the mls didn't have to do open houses didn't have to do any of that crap but now you do and market's a little different right so i still think it is in some half the cases you know 50 percent it is still a seller's market, right? Because of the low inventory. Um, however, with the squeeze, um, because of the interest rates rising, it's taking people from that were looking at a four or five interest rate, now up to a seven or eight, and soon to be double digits. Well, everybody's like, well, I'm waiting for the market to slide back, waiting for the market to slide back. Hey folks, when the market slides back, cash buyers come out of the works. When cash buyers come out of the works, guess what type of market we're back into? We are back into, we are, we're in a buyer's market, but we're in a buyer's market for investors. And I know this is like a lot of jumping around. And you're like, well, what, what's a perfect market? What's a normal market? Never. You have to buy when you're comfortable buying and you have to sell when you're comfortable selling. And you just have to have the real, most real, utmost realistic expectations. You, your realtor, your lender, your vendors, your people around you, you cannot listen to your brother, sister, mother, cousin that is talking about, oh, when I sold a year ago, my realtor got me top dollar and it was gone in 72 hours. And well, when they sold, interest rates were low, lower. Um, they're still low comparative comparative to what my parents paid and what a lot of people's parents paid like in their 30s, uh, higher 20s and upper. A lot of our parents paid a lot more than um, what we're paying now, right? And some paid the same. So I don't think there's going to be a big enough slide back to make up for it. If there's a big enough slide back, that's going to screw over a lot of people. So like wishing like i do like when things go on sale right like stocks uh houses all that stuff but not at, not at the ultimate expense of it, a ton of people right now am i going to be looking for reos and foreclosures and estates and stuff like that absolutely do am i going to be ready if the market tanks yes absolutely do I want it to happen to where so a lot of people lose their homes or something like that or they they lose? No, if they make their payments on time like they're like they're supposed to, they'll be fine. So the controversy is should I buy now? Yes, if you can afford it and the there's a house that is your house, yes you should buy. 
what are you gonna wait for? If the interest rate is eight now, seven or eight, and then in a year or two or three, it goes down to five, guess what you do? You refinance. If the rule is, if the rates drop, you know, more than a point, which is a percentage, then yes, go ahead and refinance. It makes sense over time to save that money. Even if it costs you five or 10 grand, over time you're gonna save. And with a lot of loans, like government loans, you're able to refinance with the Earl program, and then you can refinance and get the lowest rate. So it's always a struggle, you know, you'll hear a lot of, a lot of people just say, uh, marry the house, date the rate. I'm like, <sighs> so you're telling me you want me to date the rate and marry the house or whatever they say, but you don't know my finances. You don't know what I'm comfortable at. You don't know. That's like saying, hey, just date somebody until you find the one. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me, but I think the market market's still strong. Um, I think you'll, you can find a deal here or there. And you know, there's less, there's less competition if you're a buyer now because people are tightening up. People are stopping to buy because, you know, interest rates may have priced them out or they may not have the funds that they did because they, uh, an emergency came up, but just, just make smart decisions, work with your realtor, work with your lender. If they're not helping you find new ones. Um, and if, you know, if now is not the time to buy, now is not the time to buy, but don't make these ridiculous excuses because people are, because you're, you're listening to everybody else. Make the decision based off your finances, based off the house you love or don't love and where you're at in your life. I mean, rents are still going up. Like rents are gonna go, aren't gonna stop going up. So why would you keep paying somebody else's rent? Like I'm all about like investors having short-term, long-term rentals, but come on. Like you need to, you need to start investing in yourself. And if you're paying the same amount, and but you're just scared to get locked in an interest rate, you're getting locked in a, a rent. And guess what? Most of the time, yes, taxes and insurance can go up. They will go up in, in uh, majority of cases. But you can always shop insurance, and you can almost you can basically predict your um, not a hundred percent, but you can be predict what your your payment every month's going to be. But you don't predict what they're going to raise in the rent. They could raise a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars, blah blah blah. So you know, make smart decisions. If this if you think this could provide some value to somebody, like, share, comment, and uh, yeah, just reach out to me. I'd love to I'd love to hear what you guys got going on. If there's anything in the world I could do for you, I'd love to have a great night. Go try George's Bistro and Bar and Grill. It is great. They got brunch, they got dinner. And uh, yeah, I tried the Wagyu steak uh, and asparagus and we had the bone marrow. And what else do we have? Oh, we had a couple of cocktails and they're pretty good as well. So I had the tequila one on their uh, specialty one. Uh, but it's pretty good. Hope you have an amazing day, amazing year. Um, and we only got a couple more months left in 2022. So start planning, start hustling, get ready for the holidays, have an amazing holidays. Uh, try to disconnect from your phone. I'm going to definitely do that uh, during Thanksgiving, during Christmas. In between, I'm going to be hustling. I'm going to be grinding. New Year's, I'm going to be working, but I'm also going to disconnect for a day or two in Hawaii with the family. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in Pensacola, Florida, I'd love to grab a beer, uh, lunch with you. So like, share, comment, and uh, have an amazing day.